proverbial center away from organized labor, away from uh, some of the concerns of organized labor, and I think that has cost them dearly. So, to the extent that Mr. Trump has promised to create so many jobs, uh, you must welcome that part of his political agenda? Absolutely. If jobs become the center of uh, the Trump administration, uh, that's nothing but good. But I doubt very much uh, that he will achieve uh, his objective because I heard nothing in the campaign that would suggest uh, that uh, he knows how to generate jobs. What about spending billions of dollars on infrastructure? Uh, well, a big infrastructure program is definitely needed, not only in terms of jobs, but also in terms of amending uh, the crumbling, and I think literally crumbling, infrastructure of America. Uh, Donald Trump promised to uh, do a much bigger infrastructure program than Hillary Clinton. Uh, it would be nice if he could get it done. Uh, the problem is that the Republican Congress is very stingy. They like deficits. Uh, they don't like deficits. They want deficit reduction. So that will be an interesting uh, conversation to watch. This election has been called all sorts of things, seismic, a political earthquake. Um, how do you rate it? Uh, well, it's right up there. And, uh, uh, you know, I would give it, as earthquakes go, I would give it uh, maybe a six or a seven on the Richter scale. It's something that we hope doesn't happen in California, at least for a while. Uh, it, it really did shake and has shaken the establishment. And when, by establishment, I mean uh, the political leaders of both parties, uh, the mainstream media, uh, the corporate and financial heads of the United States, uh, because they didn't expect it. They don't trust Donald Trump. And they worry with good reason about what he actually will do as president. Um, and are you worried? I am worried because he, not only am I concerned about the policies, I don't really, uh, I never did understand what policies he was. Well, I was going to say that. What, what are his policies? I, I don't know. He, he has trotted out a major tax cut for the wealthy, which is standard Republican economics, uh, trickle-down economics. It doesn't work. Didn't work for Reagan. Uh, didn't work for George W. Bush. Uh, he also talks about getting rid of environmental regulations and getting rid of Obamacare. Uh, that, I don't think, is necessarily going to push America in the correct direction. Uh, but beyond that, I am very deeply concerned about the damage that Donald Trump has already done to the uh, political discourse in the United States in terms of uh, reducing, denigrating the, the the way in which people regard each other, the kind of divisiveness uh, that characterized his campaign. And um, will the United States bounce back? Oh, yes. The United States uh, is remarkably resilient. We also have something called separation of powers and checks and balances, uh, which means that uh, even if a president is not, uh, let's say, quite up to the job, uh, there are other branches that uh, will swing into action to check and balance that president. And uh, even, not even least, a Republican controlled uh, Congress, uh, a, a Supreme Court with a majority of uh, Republican judges. Well, that's interesting because, uh, you know, the, the business elites, as I mentioned a moment ago, uh, which which are very much part of the Republican establishment, uh, they don't like Donald Trump. Uh, and therefore, a lot of the Republican st establishment doesn't like what he stands okay. for. They don't like his standards. Uh, his stands for, uh, for trade, for example. So it's not necessarily going to be easy for Donald Trump or for the Republicans. Mr. Reich, many thanks. Uh, Robert Reich, who served as Secretary of Labour under Bill Clinton. That's it from this edition of NewsR. Many more voices and perspectives on the results of last night's election still to come today on OPB, KOPB, FM Portland.